Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dem Wise Girls. I'm your girl, Jada. And I'm your girl, Lala, and thanks for tuning in. What's up, Jada? Nothing much. How are you? How was your week? How are the kids? How's the fam? How's Matt? How is everything going? How are you feeling? Well, the kids are doing much better. Thank you. Uh, Viva is Viva. She's dealing with asthma. So unfortunately, I can't even empathize or excuse me, sympathize with her. I can empathize, but I can't sympathize in that I've never experienced asthma and poor thing has been going through the ringer with it this season. Um, As you can tell, I'm a little under the weather myself, but I'm okay. I'm doing Otherwise, um, my husband is doing well. What about you? How about you and your peoples? Uh, I had a very stressful week this week. I was so mm-hmm. glad it's over. I'm so glad I'm off tomorrow. I just needed Friday to come quick fast because I was not feeling this week at all. I felt overwhelmed. Work was bananas. It's just like getting back into the swing of everything since, you know, the semester started. So still dealing with stuff from that. So it was a busy, busy, busy week for me this week. I've been working late this week. So it was a lot, but hopefully this upcoming week will be a little bit better, especially since I'm off tomorrow for um, Lincoln's birthday to college is closed so I'm off so I'm super excited I get to sleep in and chill tomorrow and just you know (laughs) enjoy my day I'm sorry (laughs) but I'm a little salty right now because I don't have off but it's all right next time it's okay I'll be thinking about you as I'm enjoying my day off (laughs) because I have to get up and go in tomorrow yeah positive vibes your way for the whole week So how many holidays do you typically get? So we get um, Lincoln's birthday, President's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, the day after, Christmas. We only get, typically, normally, colleges have the whole week off. Yes. We don't. We only get the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, depending on the days they fall. So I think I counted 13. Am I right? So those, I think you are. Those are the only days. Oh, and Martin Luther King. How can I forget Dr. King? We get Dr. King so as we're well. either at 13 or 14 days of yeah. the time more. We get Dr. King as well. So those are the days we get. Whenever the college is closed, I'm automatically off from work. But then yeah. we have spring break, which I still work. I'm not off during yes. spring break. And the summers I work, I'm not off during the summer. But yeah. we work a four-day work week. We work Monday through See, Thursday. That's positive. And we're off on Fridays, which is nice. I do that. That I do like, but I work a longer day. I work from 8.30 in the morning to 6 in the evening. That is a long so, day. Yeah, I work a long day to make up for that Friday. Or I could use my own time to make up for the day. But I'd rather just work the hours. That's just yeah. Yeah. No, I hear That's you. That's just me. I hear you have off the Friday. Yeah. You have a significant um amount of PTO days than I. I only have nine PTO days. Whoa. That's or, correction. I should say PTO because PTO is typically your vacation. So you, I have nine um, recognized holiday off, whereas you seem to have about 12 or 13 mm-hmm. holidays off. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, most of that is one difference among you know my sector and your sector. So exactly, but I'm happy where I'm at. I'm not complaining. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what's important. You being happy where you at. That that that's right. That's the important thing. And I feel that that is something that should be, you know, celebrated among people. I read on not Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, somebody posted, I'd rather work at a job making less money and have good mental health than to be at a job making a lot of money and be burnt out mentally. And I think that's so true because we get so caught up and sometimes, you know, money, but our mental health is struggling. We're like, we're tapped out. 
So sometimes taking maybe that pay cut and going to another place where you're where you're celebrated and you're loved and people like you and they want to see you move up and elevate and they give you those tools to do that makes so much of a huge difference than being somewhere and being upon people who are cutthroat and they don't care who they hurt because they're trying to make it a ladder. So, you know, a lot of that stuff makes a huge difference. Makes a huge difference, J.D., Huge Absolutely. Difference. I'm happy you brought that up because I don't want anybody to think I'm ungrateful. I'm very grateful and I'm very happy to be where I'm at. Um, one thing I will say is that, um, you know, when you're supported, you feel that you can carry on and do anything. And that's just the case. Um, I feel as though I can do anything. The sky's literally the limit. Um, I was watching, you know, I like that TikTok. We know you I was do. watching the TikTok <laughs> and the TikTok was talking about how we as uh, African-American women take on everybody and all of their baggage and how we can never say no, even when it's to our detriment, which many times, I shouldn't even say many, a lot of times it is to our detriment. So for 2023, I'm taking on what this woman on TikTok said, and I am saying no. So I'm saying no to things that don't support me, that don't benefit me, things that make me feel less than I'm saying no. So I encourage all of our viewers to take that stance because it is time to start pouring into ourselves. Um, Speaking of pouring into ourselves, did you see, did you see, did you see the Grammy? Girl, let me say this. I have to say, this probably was one of the see my best Grammys they had in a very, 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 very long time. I don't think I've seen a Grammys that was actually watchable like this. Um, I mean, there were certain parts I just was flipping back and forth because, yeah. you know, they came on at the same time of the Real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> you guys know I got to watch my Potomac because that was the season finale. In oh. fact, I need to um, rewatch it because I didn't watch the whole thing because I was watching the Grammys. But um, it was really nice. I wasn't too crazy about the host. I forgot what his name was. Yeah. Um, I wasn't a fan of him, uh, but I love the Colin. Old... Colin. Is it Colin? I know who you're talking about. I, I can't think of it. <laughs> I It'll name. come to me. And I'm telling you, is it called? <laughs> but, or is um, it Michael? Oh, I don't remember. Let's Google it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Google it. But, so why didn't you like the host? I like him. I, I truly I like him. He just didn't bring it to me like it just I feel like he was trying too hard maybe I should say it like that I felt like he was trying to be funny too hard and I Trevor Noah yes Trevor Trevor. Noah yes yes I felt like I'm saying Colin listen (laughs) at least you tried (laughs) I think because he has the British accent I want to say that his name is Colin yes 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 it's Trevor Trevor yes I felt like he was trying too hard to be funny. And I feel like when you're funny, people are naturally, like Eddie Murphy's naturally funny. Funny. Um, You know, Chris Rock, naturally funny. Uh, Martin, naturally funny. Certain people are just naturally funny. And I just felt like he was just trying too hard. I did like their ode to 50 Years of Hip Hop. I thought that was so nice. Bringing up every, like going through the past to the present. Like I thought that was really really cool i enjoyed lizzo's performance i have to say i really well, truly you know did how I feel about lizzo i lizzo enjoyed it rapping for the big girls she, she do she rap for the big moments and i i give her love because you could tell she's Always. super 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 confident and comfortable yes. in the skin that she's in and i love that i loved her performance she was so excited to see beyonce so let me say this real quick so y'all know Beyonce is my BFF in my head, but yes. I can't support this upcoming tour. And let me tell y'all why. Why? One, it is too much money. Now Ooh, Beyonce, yeah. no good and dull going well. We are dealing with a uh, almost maybe recession coming in, even though some people say we already did with inflation with eggs and bread and you know milk going up sky high. 
Why yes. are your tickets $306? And that's not even at the bottom level. Okay. You know what the nosebleeds are going for? Let me tell you what the How nosebleeds much? are going How for. Much? $146. What? 140. Yes. Yes. For the nosebleeds. For the nosebleeds. Yes. 146. Wow. You know, I looked it up. You know, I looked it up because I was going to go. But then I saw those prices and I said, absolutely not. <laughs> well, you know, I told you how I've been feeling about Jay and Beyonce. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to even support, act like I'm going to support their concert. Um, <laughs> because I'm just over them. I'm, I'm truthfully over them. Now, if it was like Alicia Keys, you know, I would go. <laughs> Alicia, I feel like Jay and Beyonce, okay, you've had your reign. It's time to relinquish the mic, so to speak. Like we know that I can't have names for life. If you dope, you dope. dope. That's like telling in, us to stop being dope them wise girls. We had our reign and we need to end it and cease. Acting. No, 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 no. When we get to the top of the pyramid. Potential. Maybe we've been at the top since we, birth. What you talking? Oh, wait, no, you went in the pyramid. I know we, I've been we, at we the top. We are true. We, we tell the truth. We all got our crowns. However, I want to be in every household. I want to be the real housewives of Potomac. Okay. Hey, you know, better yet, I want to be the real housewives of uh, Tri-State area. Okay. That's <laughs> what I want to be. We're of the Tri-State area. Real Housewives. Okay. Wait a minute. You want to be... <laughs> you said the Real Housewives of the Tri-State area? Yes. I renamed <laughs> it. Yes. We're going to be them wise girls of the Tri-State area, a.k.a. them wives of the Tri-State area. I want to be in everybody's household. I want to be the name that comes out of their mouth when they say, did you see that episode? That's us. Yes. So come on, guys, make it happen. Make it happen. We're there. We're there. <laughs> the Real Housewives of the Tri-State. Now, you know, that was her idea, not mine. We are the Real Housewives of Tri-State. We are I'm not a over. housewife, okay? Me, even though, I, not even housewife. though people on there aren't Real Housewives sometimes, too, but still. Yeah, they're ex to be legit. and girlfriends. So why, like, why can't we be? Because I got to be legit with my name. I'm not out here faking no facade. I'm not out here fronting for the gram and fronting for the book like some people be doing. You I'm just not could doing. go on a date with somebody and suddenly you were like the girlfriend of such and such. It depends on now. If it's Michael B. Jordan, then we could definitely do that. Because y'all know I love me some Michael B. And he's been doing good since his little breakup with Miss Little Lori Harvey. And so isn't could, that funny that he made that joke? Good. I think he did it excellently. When he said on the SNL, when he said, um, you know, when you have a breakup, people were like talking about how like my face showed that I was distressed and depressed. And no reality, like what is my face to look like and my physique to look like when I'm in the best shape of my life? I'm in Creed shape. So and Creed is coming out March 3rd, y'all, 2023. So you better pack those movie theaters because it's going to be a movie. We got to get Creed to number one again, because let me tell you something. I'm going to be in a the movie theater. Y'all now got to go see Creed. That's my thing. I see Creed. I saw Creed 1. I saw Creed 2. And I'm seeing Creed 3. And usually me and my dad go. That's our thing. We that's go into Creed thing. together. Y'all know I loved all the Rocky movies except for I liked 1 to 4. My car is even named after Rocky. Okay? That's why his name is Rocky because I love the Rocky movies. But so yeah. I have a question. Did you see Wakanda 2? Because I did not. I did I, not. I didn't even see the first one. Don't y'all judge me. Don't y'all hey, judge me. You I didn't, didn't even see, see the, the first, first one. one. I know it's not your thing. Two movies but... like that. So for me, it's not like I gotta go see it. I gotta go see Wakanda. I, I went and I love the first one. But really? the second one, Mommy Hood got in the way. And I have yet to see it. And It's I wonder... streaming on Disney+. Plus. You know I didn't buy Disney Plus. Oh, we ain't this, had that conversation. This little one. <laughs> so let's talk. Let's get into it. My daughter, for the world, 
she you would think that she would be so happy to have to get Disney Plus. I've asked her time and time again, don't you want to watch all of the Disney movies movies and see everything that comes out on Disney Plus? Plus, just you know, just so you know, a lot of movies that are not necessarily kids' movies are made by Disney. So it would also be in one Disney Plus, right? No. She likes watching, and forgive me for my voice because I'm still, you know, recovering. She likes watching YouTube. But so, I'm not mad at sis. I like watching YouTube too. <laughs> she loves well, I like watching TikTok. So I guess, yeah, it's it's all about differences, I guess. But I would think as a kid that you would die to have Disney Plus. And I keep asking her, like, and I feel like if I were to get Disney Plus, it would just be at a loss because if it wasn't for me watching it she's not gonna watch it you know so I have Disney plus yeah but you actually watch it not all the time I got it as an add-on because I have Hulu and I do oh. watch Hulu a lot um but um I just added it onto my bundle but we can have an offline conversation about that. You know, the ops are watching. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm just like, you know, she's into like, you can't laugh. Something called Dr. Binox, which is an Indian. It's crazy. He looks like the bottom half of a, of a mop, right? He's a, he's a digital cat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He looks like the bottom half of a mop. Yes, he's a digital character and he looks like the bottom half of a mop, like like this. And you know how the mop kind of, yes. And he has an Indian voice, but he gives really good information. He talks about the body, the universe, things like really smart, like Bill Nye Science Guy type stuff. That's what she watches. She also watches a rendition of uh, dolls of, of a woman I believe it's a woman a Filipino woman with little tiny petite hands that takes dolls and she plays with dolls and gives them the voices and like you know has them talking to each other so now my daughter Viva plays with the dolls like that which she actually has always done so so she keeps asking mommy can I have a YouTube channel and I keep saying yes but I kind of feel like she's too young like, what do you think about that? You think I should let her have a YouTube channel? I need to go back a moment. How does she find this stuff on YouTube? So, okay. So it's partly my fault because I showed her how to click on the sides, you know, the little windows. So it started with her watching the Anna and Elsa where the woman does the, the doll and voice rendition. And then somehow she stumbled upon this Bill Nye Science guy been called it's actually called it's not Bill Nye Science Guy it's called Dr. Binox I encourage you to look it up it's quite it, it, it's it opens your eyes it's intuitive it's Dr. Binox spelled B-I-N-O-C-S Dr. Binox yes so she asks you questions <laughs> about the universe that you're like what I don't know about the universe yes <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and about ask her you can ask her about why do we need water for our bodies like she like she learns a lot from there and i won't lie sometimes i watch along too and i learn some things too was that what she was watching the other night when she said she wanted to watch youtube and you was trying to find a remote to put it on it could have been it probably was i i she has these set episodes of it that she wants she likes rewatching and if you can't find the one that is in her mind like you're in trouble like big trouble so yeah i think that's great she wants to watch stuff like that for her to be so young and she wants to build her cuz we already know veve is 6 going on 65 like we yes. we already know that like that has yeah. already been edged in stone she... but for her to take the time out to want to watch the stuff like so let me tell you kudos she has gone from be wanting to be a uh, a veterinarian now as of i think saturday Last Saturday, she wants to be an astronaut. And I said, an astronaut. And so she keeps like talking about space, then this and that. 
and mommy, do you think that the boots that you wear in space are heavy? And I'm like, yeah, I think they're heavy. Don't they have to be heavy because of gravity? Like if not, you just float away. And like, we're having like deep conversations about Yes, space. talking to her is like talking to a full-fledged adult. Like when she came and showed me like her graduation party plans and had everything written out, it was like talking to an adult, like for real. For Don't real. start about graduation. For real, for real. That, for real, that for is- real. Uh, that is still a, uh, what's the word, um, uh, work in the making, because let me tell you, if I don't come with exactly the items or the, like with specifications that she has made, you know, I'm going to be in trouble. And baby, that's why she said it again. Cause she said, mommy, no, now Jade got to sit and push and make sure mommy do it right. So you already know, you already know, sis know what she's saying. She know what she's talking about and she know how to deliver. And I get it and I respect it. And we're going to keep that. That's baby. And you that's why she should have me. a YouTube channel. She cannot. I think she change. should. She, I can't. So I asked her, I said, well, you know, your theme sounds more like carnival to me. And I'm like, or you know, outside. And she's like, no, mommy, I want steak. I want ribs. I want macaroni and cheese. I want corn. Oh, and I want dinosaur chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. And who's eating? T tell the people who's eating the dinosaur chicken nuggets she ain't even eating the dinosaur chicken nuggets. the adults she told me the adults could have the dinosaur you know, chicken nuggets where she said she want to eat she want to eat steak people she's only five going on six and she so i said in my mind I didn't tell her this because I knew not to go down that rabbit hole. I said, oh, maybe the adults can in fact have steak and we do surf and turf. So I will never tell her that because, you know, she mm -hmm. loves Then she's going to want some of the turf and that the turf ain't for the babies. Okay. Whoop. Not only that, like kids, like you said, the turf is not for the babies. Kids don't eat steak and shrimp. But my kids eat chicken eat nuggets and pizza. I told her I'm bringing some pizza and she better be happy with it. Kids love them some pizza. But you know, she she was considering your feelings. She said, I'll eat the pizza. Jada, I'll eat the pizza. But so I'm bringing pizza and cake and cupcakes. She said she wanted. She wants cake, cake and, and cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah, she's like her mother. She want cake. And I was trying to tell her just the cupcakes. And you know how nowadays they put the cupcakes together to make it look like a cake? She don't want that. She wants She want a separate cake by itself. And I'm not mad at her for that because you know what? And you she don't want ice cream because it's going to make them too cold. But she wants ices. I okay. said, won't ices make you too cold? Okay. At least she knows what she wants. She's not trying to configure. Like she could tell you exactly what she wants, what she's thinking about and how she's feeling. For her to be only five and be able to express herself in that manner, that's big because she could be all over the place, but she's not. She's very direct. <laughs> she wants a graduate sign. I said, you mean a graduation sign? No, a graduate <laughs> sign, mommy. So if we can stand underneath it and take pictures. So we got to find a graduate sign, not graduation, graduate sign. I guess we need to go on Etsy. Yes. So if any of the viewers have any links, you know, to these that items or any connects, drop them below because we're going to need them. I'm going to need them. In so, the state of PA, in the state of Pennsylvania, please yeah. and thank you because we definitely definitely need them please so speaking of the venue so she wants uh just to catch the viewers up i know you know but she wants to have bounce houses and water slides along with a dress-up station a uh craft station oh and she's like her mother she wants everybody to be kumbaya she wants one big table did she tell you that she didn't yeah. tell me about no one big table, but she, she wants this everybody is. to sit together. Yes. She's like her mom. She doesn't want anybody to be left out. She just wants to be kumbaya with everybody. So she wants one big table. So I was thinking that she has in truth too many ideas. And the best thing for me to do is to take her to a place that is kind of like Discovery Zone with like, Chuck E. Cheese in one. I was thinking about the 
what is it the dream place but that's just too much money for Baby, that's money people. honey then it'll just be it'll just be a couple of us <laughs> it'll be like five kids that's it so i was gonna take her to a place called uh something air but they have um i don't i'm not gonna pay for the go-karts because i don't think five-year-olds should be driving co-karts but mm-hmm. uh <laughs> they have um trampolines they have those uh those those uh those um you know those beams that you stand on and then you take the the yes oh child and then you fall into the balls or yes. into oh i would have they a- have that <laughs> they have um they have the the um the climb things, the wall climb things. I did like, that on my senior trip in junior high. They even have the aerial ones where you actually walk and if you fall, the cord catches you. Like mm-hmm. what I did on the cruise, like they've all of that. So I actually had called and, you know, the woman is only there Monday through Friday, which is crazy because they have long weekend hours. So I guess you can't make any new events, plan any events on the actual weekday that's or weekend day that's happening it has right. to be in advance so i have to call and find out about that because and where's that place at where's that that's about 40 minutes from me so there's other ones that are close to me but you know my daughter is very particular She's that's the wise in her. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get everything for her as close to as uh, close as I can to her spe- specifications. That's the wise in her. She'll tell me that's not what I she'll be like that ungrateful child that you see on television. Which and that's not what I want. I don't want to be at this party. That's not what I want. So got to get it right. The first time. The first time. <laughs> the first time. The first time. I'm just like, speaking of the first time, is it true that um oh, Chad Ocho Cinco proposed to what's her name? Sherelle. Sherelle? Yeah. It is true. Okay. Yeah, they we, perform- they're about- engaged. You didn't see her ring. We spoke about that a little bit on the show. I, Sherelle and Chad, congrats. But yeah, she got a nice little rock on her finger. I'm like, yes, you know it. why it came up in my mind? Um, as I play with my daughter's Barbie doll brush, <laughs> um, it came up in my mind because did you see on the shade room that Ocho Cinco called her the blue Smurf in her blue dress? Let me tell you something, and this is for you too, because I'm sure you'll be a part of the mix. Yes. If I ever get married, make sure my husband gives commentary that is out of this world because Chad gives commentary that makes it's like out of the world you ever see him hype his daughters up he does he really I does. was on the floor with his daughter he said come on now you're gonna be another city girl JT and uh, Carisha gonna see this you better act like you know come on turn around give him t- yes yes sis turn around Oh, sis, they going, they going, they not going to sleep on you. Like, I love how he talks I do. to them. Like, I Whether, love that. Don't call me the blue Smurf because I will just die. I ain't going to lie. She did in that blue. <laughs> that was like a blue Smurf blue, even though I did like her in that outfit. She looked gorge, but it was like a blue Smurf blue. <laughs> she did. Oh. I love how he hypes her up. He'd be like, yes, look at her. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. I just, I, I like that. And I feel you should give that commentary. You no, should but you be, should. You should you know, support your that. significant other. Right. And you should rep them. Uh, you should be their own Per, your own their own personal cheerleader i really that's do right believe. that's right that's we, i mean we do that with each other with the wise girls not just you with me all of the wise girls we sit we see each other post a picture and stuff we sitting up there in the comment section you know you have yes. to do that i feel that's important to do yes. you know and i'm gonna say this to our viewers if you have any product or anything that you want us to showcase on this show just as a reminder let us know because we don't mind putting it out there. If it's yeah. something that is of quality and something worth wrapping, we'll wrap it yeah. for you. Don't forget. Absolutely. We love it. We love to find out about new products, new things, just stuff that you guys are putting out. Like we're all for supporting each other's, you know, small businesses unite. 
<laughs> okay, um. we're gonna unite. <laughs> and um, so we're always here to hear about whatever you guys are doing. You could always email us at themisegirls at gmail.com. Um, we'll drop our email address as well. So mm. if you have anything you want to, you know, for us to put out there to the people, hit us in the email and we'll definitely get back to you as well. So thank you so much for watching Them Wise Girls. Make sure that you share this video, that you go on our YouTube page and you like it. Ring that bell and make sure you like and share and subscribe to our Facebook and IG pages as well. Absolutely. As always, it's always great chatting with you. And we'll be back next week with another brand new episode of them wise girls so we hope you guys have an amazing day awesome weekend enjoy the super bowl because we know you guys Re -re. are going to be watching the super bowl tonight Re -re. well Re -re. you guys are going to the rihanna concert tonight i know so, i'll be there yes we are going to be in the building and we will definitely be talking to you guys next week about our thoughts so you better make sure you guys come back next week set those notifications because we'll be dropping another hot episode next week of them wise girls. Later!